It's a grim existence. 25,000 people living in two UN camps in Juba. Camps elsewhere house another 40,000. After fighting broke out between government troops and the rebels in mid-December, they fled to this UN camp and built shelters out of towels, sheets and sticks. This is home for now. Believe it or not, these are the lucky ones. Aid agencies are deeply concerned about thousands of children who were separated from their parents during the conflict and are surviving alone in remote areas of South Sudan. Aid workers are also worried about the threat of disease. Safe water is in short supply and the number of people with diarrhea and severe dehydration is already high. At least 1,000 people have been killed since the conflict began and there are reports of brutal ethnically based attacks. Many in the camps are said to be traumatized and in desperate need of psychological help. But right now, that's not an option. More than 12,000 UN peacekeepers have been deployed to South Sudan to try to contain the violence. And regional leaders are calling for talks between President Kiir and his former deputy Riek Machar by Tuesday at the latest. But while they pick over the details of any possible agreement, thousands who've been displaced by the clashes continue to suffer. Wendy Urquhart, BBC News.